How to make the particles effect. <laughs> now, I'm not going to stand here right, and tell you. Today's video is sponsored again by my friend Tommy. Right click to your clip, make it a new fusion clip, and open the fusion page. Add a luma keyer into your flow. Bring the luminance range down to key out the dark parts of your image. Once you are satisfied with your image, disconnect it from the media node. Add the P emitter node, go to the region tab, and change the region to bitmap. Connect your luma node to the P emitter. Add the P turbulence node, and the P render node. With the render node selected, change the output mode to 2D. Bring a background node in empty space, and set the color to your desired one. Add a merge node, connect the P render node as a foreground, and the merge to the media node, and you've got nothing. Now it's the time to do all the adjustments. Select the emitter node. Go to the style tab, change the style to n-gon, set the starriness to zero, and change the type to circle. Open the size menu, set the size to 0.5. Add a tiny amount of size variance and size to velocity. Adjust the size over life curve. Open the fade controls, and set the out value to 0.8. Go to the controls tab, set the emitter number to 500, higher number means more particles, more particles leads to your computer's murder. Add a bit of number variance, and a tiny amount of position variance. In the velocity menu, set the velocity to 0.02, increase the velocity variance a bit, and set the angle to minus 90. Change the color to use color from region. If it is needed, go back to the luma keyer and adjust the settings more. Select the turbulence node, set the Z strength to 0.4, and the density to 30. Tweak around all those settings, until you've got your desired result. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, it's YouTube, so why you are still here?